Today we have the golf buggy. Yes, I know, I said in the last episode that I was gonna do the Toyota Hilux. That's next weekend. I thought you would just run you through the, the golf buggy. So, well, we'll start with the motor this week. Um, sorry, wrong way. <clears throat> Under here we have, a, we have a seven horsepower. It looks like a Honda, but we just got a Chinese one and it runs actually pretty well. We had one in it before, but we forgot to put um, oil on the air cleaner. So we started blowing blue smoke everywhere and we wrecked the motor. So we ripped it out and got another $150 motor and put it in. Haven't touched this one at all. Um, we have two systems of mufflers. We have this muffler and there's a muffler back up the back. Um, we kept the original fuel tank. Uh, I put in a water tank to wash your hands. And yeah, battery system for the electric start. And yeah, that's about it under there. If you come around the back, the exhaust system on it at the back, we have a three inch tip that I made up also. The, the bigger muffler box to stop the sparks. We have a reversing light, braking lights. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good buggy. Um, here we have the tray. So what I've done, I've just made, some friends gave me some 25 by 25 steel. Well, not some, a lot of it. And I decided to make a tray I've got checker plate on it, and it holds a bit of weight too. And yeah, with this, the interior, there's no doors, it's all open. You have a V8 XA Falcon badge that come off my dad's Falcon, he kept it. We just have some yellow plastic seats, lights for the light thing, bar. And yeah, around the front, we have a, we have a visor off a Toyota Land Cruiser and I've cut it down to suit this. Got a Toyota symbol, 21 inch LED bar. This bull bar here come off our Trago when we hit a kangaroo. So I chopped it down and I decided to put it on this. The wheels at the moment are just standard golf buggy wheels. We are looking around for um, some more mud terrain ones. Even though it's two wheel drive, it still goes right through the holes. Just looking for some more muddies. Yeah. Um, around here, we've just finished the trailer. Finished it this afternoon. It's all hooked up. It's checker plate as well. Same steel. It's got springs underneath. Yeah. Got any questions, just flick them to me. Yeah, let's go for a drive. Um, the roof is held down by a, <laughs> a ratchet strap. My friend Nicholas was right driving it when he was out here. And the boots, bo bo not boots, the bolts came really loose. And it just rattled all out, so the roof basically collapsed. So what we've done, we've just got a strap. And it hold, it's holding it better than the bolts, so we're just going to leave it like that. Um, with the suspension under here, we, um, I got some plates from Bunnings. Yeah, I made them so it's two inch lift on this. It doesn't look like a two inch. Um, I am thinking of a four inch, so it'd be double. So it's a lot higher off the ground. Um, it's exactly the same on the back, but with the front, come around this way. I had to drop the actual arms down. So I had to make up some plates and drop the whole arm down because if I did it, the wheels would be in on an angle. But yeah, it makes it more comfortable to ride. So I'm still thinking of the four, the four inch option, but yeah. Hope you guys liked it. 